Some good news this morning. No one is hurt following a house explosion in Plano. This is a story that we have been following overnight, something that has really gotten a lot of our attention. And this morning we are talking to Chris Seidegge, who is actually out live there in Plano with the first look at the damage. Chris, first responders also say they have an idea of the cause. Yeah, Kara, and most of those first responders are gone, save for a few that are still just kind of looking over this house hours after this explosion. It happened at 9 o'clock last night, and we're finally able to see some of the damage up close from where we're standing. Most of it appears to be done on one of the corners of the home where I was looking at the before and after. It looks like there was a room there that is now completely gone. Nobody was home at the time, and so far, we're told nobody was hurt. We're working to find out what caused the explosion in the past. We've seen homes suddenly explode like this from gas leaks. Atmos Energy is part of the investigation to see if that was the case here. Now, coincidentally, this happens a year and one day after another home explosion in Plano. That one happened on Cleveland Drive. Six people were injured in that one and several other homes were damaged. The investigation there is still going on a year later. The investigators do think that one was caused by gas and that maybe that one was intentionally set. But back out here live at the one that happened last night, there is debris all over the driveway. I saw some on the other side of the street. As far as we know, no major damage to other homes, save for some broken windows at this one right next door. There is still a lot of danger tape, as you can see behind me, that is still covering this neighborhood. So we assume the investigation will be happening for most of, the, of today and into the future until they can find out what caused this. Karen Mark.